Thanks for joining in to our Tuesday devotional on wise words. And I look forward to bringing a message today that is going to speak to some of you, to most of you. Actually, this should speak to all of you because I believe this speaks to me. And if it speaks to me, I think it speaks to most of you or all of you. Proverbs chapter 17, verse 9, if you would go there with me. We're spending a lot of time in the book of Proverbs because Solomon had a lot to say about words. Isn't it funny that the wisest man who ever lived had so much to say about what we say? He had so much to say about your speaking and my speaking, our choice of words and our choice of demeanor. Proverbs has so much. And so that's where we're going. Proverbs 17, verse 9. Read it with me if you can. He that covereth a transgression seeketh love. But he that repeateth a matter separateth very friends. Now, we understand that our words have power. We understand that our words are used to encourage and they could be used to hurt. Well, this passage says something that sometimes we, we well, no, often we don't do. And, and sometimes it's even difficult to understand. Proverbs 17, 9, when it says, He that covereth a transgression seeketh love. We think we're not supposed to cover transgressions. We're supposed to deal with transgressions. We're supposed to confess transgressions. The Bible says that when we try and cover our sin, that the, God brings them to light and it's better to deal with our sin. Yes, 100% it is. Sin must be dealt with. But this isn't talking about you hiding your sin. This isn't talking about you uh, taking your sin and covering it up, and trying to be sneaky. No, this is talking about you and your relationship with someone else, and you find out about someone else's sin. You find out about someone else's shortcoming, and you helping to deal with it, and then leaving it. Now, let me be clear. There are some sins that are going to be public, and they need to be public. I don't mean that they should continue to sin in public. I mean that some sins need to be dealt with publicly because they're public sins. Some sins are private sins in that they've been done in private and yet they're against the law and they've caused pain and hurt to other people. Those need to be dealt with as well, publicly. If it's against the law, it needs to be dealt with judicially. It needs to be dealt with through our government. That's how those sins work. But this isn't talking about those. This is simply talking about a transgression between brethren or between people. And maybe you transgress against me or I transgress against you and we hurt each other. And then we come to forgiveness. I've done something to you. You are hurt by it. But you and your Christianity and your love for God, you forgive me. True forgiveness. And that's what he describes here. Notice it again. He that covereth a transgression. What do we say? We say forgive and forget. We understand you're never going to forget. At least you're not likely to forget. Maybe sometime, someday you'll accidentally forget. But if it was a true pain, you're probably not going to forget it for a long time. But you choose to cover it. What does he say? That when you forgive... And when you cover someone else's sin that they've sinned against you or someone else's shortcoming that you've helped them to deal with that doesn't need to be dealt with publicly, it's private, you're seeking love. You're seeking love. I think of someone who had to do, deal with this. Someone who was just. A just man, actually, is how he's described in Scripture. Not willing to make her a public example but instead was going to put her away privately. Who was that? Joseph, the stepfather of our Lord. He was transgressed against as far as he was concerned. His wife-to-be was expecting a child, and as far as he was concerned, that meant she was unfaithful. And yet, he wasn't trying to get rid of her, to mar her name. He wasn't going to make her a public example. He was going to put her away privily, and he was going to move on. He was forgiving. The Bible says that they seek love. Now, he wasn't trying to seek to restore the relationship at this time. He said he was going to put her away, but he was doing the right thing. He was forgiving, and he was doing it the right way. He was handling the situation the right way. 
says that when you do that, you're seeking love. When you are willing to forgive and to cover a transgression that is able to be covered in that way, then you're seeking love. You have the chance at being unified once again with that person or with those people who've caused problems. But, and that's how Proverbs often, it's like, it's like the middle word of Proverbs, but. But he that repeateth the matter separateth very friends. But this could be your good friend who's hurt you. And when they hurt you, instead of forgiving, instead of seeking love, you got angry. Instead of seeking love, you sought wrath or you sought, re sought re retribution or you sought vengeance. You sought to get even. And so what did you do? You told someone else. He that repeateth the matter. We are really, really good at telling someone else. We're so good at it. Hey, did you hear what so-and-so did to me? Did you hear what they said to me? Did you hear what they, uh, what they did and what I saw? Hey, you know, so-and-so told me that so-and-so did this thing to so-and-so, and you should know about it. That's what we do. We're awful. I mean, we're great at it. We're really good at spreading those rumors. We're really good at making it clear and open that private sin that should have just been dealt with privately that could have brought relationships back together and restoration. Instead, we seek our own. We try to make other people look bad. We vent and we separate very friends. You lost a friend because of your words. My words have hurt people and I regret it. I can't even think of all the times that my words have hurt people and I regret it. In high school, I recognized it, that my words were bad, that I made poor choices, that I made fun of people and I never should have. And I, the Lord helped me to start to change. I'm not perfect at it. I still mess up. I still struggle with it. But I'm thankful that God makes me aware of it and he convicts my heart about it. I don't want to separate very friends. I don't want to have enemies on this earth just because I'm too proud to zip it. Best way to have wise words is to not say very many. That's what you have to do here. He that covereth a transgression. How do you do it? If you're playing hide and seek, what do you do? You get covered somewhere and you be quiet. We need to cover it. It says, he that repeateth the matter separateth very friends. How is it that he does that? Well, look over. Probably for me, it's across the page. Proverbs 18.8. Our last devotion was from 6 and 7 of chapter 18. Now we're looking at 18.8. It says this, The words of a talebearer are as wounds, and they go down into the innermost parts of the belly. This passage is saying that when you start to tell tales, you start to uncover that private sin, and you tell other people about it, and you start to tell lies about someone, or just even the truth, but you're spreading it around for the sake of your own pleasure. You can wound someone and that wound can go down to the innermost part of the belly. That's like a, a life destroying wound. That's something that hurts. You can get wound and get a cut on the arm and be fine. But if you get a wound on the inside, it takes a doctor to try and fix that. It takes maybe a miracle. It takes a hospital stay. It takes something a lot of effort and a lot of things to go right for that you to heal from an internal wound. It says a tail bearer causes a wound that goes deep, really, really deep. That tail bearer, that one who uncovers that sin, not seeking love, seeking vengeance or to get even, you separate very friends because you hurt people. Maybe you've been hurt. As a Christian, need to forgive. Maybe it was emotional. You need to forgive. Maybe it was physical. You need to forgive. That's what's best for you. As mentioned, public sins or sins that are against the law need to be dealt with publicly, but private things should be dealt with privately. And you need to forgive. You need for yourself to learn to forgive. Don't get even. Get forgiveness. Get Love, seek love, as we find here in Proverbs 17, 9, and in Proverbs 18, 8. 
I hope that you're not a tail bearer. But I can tell you this, I struggle with it. And so I'm guessing you do too. Let's use wise words. Let's keep it closed when we should. And then when we can, let's open it up to the praise of God and to the edification of the church. Thanks for joining in. I look forward to, to having this video with you again on Thursday. And uh, please tune in. I hope it's a help. Thanks. Bye-bye.